Oh, you caught me. Oh my God. Oh, geez. Santa's going to get really mad at me. Somebody asked me just recently if I was one of Santa's elves. And yes, I am. But just keep it between me and you. Because if he finds out, I'm going to be in big trouble. More than I am already. Number one, because you just found out that I'm an elf. And number two, that I didn't start my Christmas decorations yet. And it's November 4th. So he's going to be really, really upset. And number three, I even changed some of the stuff that I was planning to do. So for those of you that saw my video of my plans for 2019, I had to change some things because it's so late. So my entrance for you is going to be Welcome to the North Pole. And the rest of it is going to be kind of the same, but I made another major change where I was going to do Santa's Secret Garden. I'm going to do Mrs. Claus's Ladies Parlor. Or in more modern terms, Mrs. Claus's She Shed, I guess we're going to call it. And I'm going to get started on that today. So let's keep it a secret between me and you. Let's not let him know that you found out that I'm an elf. And let's get started on Christmas 2019. Okay, everybody. Okay, so in today's video, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you what I'm doing on the windows, just the window uh, treatment that I'm going, going to be doing in this room that I've entitled Mrs. Santa Claus's uh, Ladies Parlor or her She Shed, like I just said before. Uh, so anyway, um, I, I'm not going to bore you with how I did this. It's, it's a pretty simple process, but I will explain it to you for those of you that are interested. So what I did was... We have these white uh, drape panels, which you really can't see from there, but there's white branches. Um, they're kind of like in, in embossed on there. It's, it's probably, they're probably embroidered on there, I would think. Uh, but they, they have a nice uh, shine to them. So anyway, what I did was I used one panel, which is 36 inches wide, which is the width of this window. And the panel is 84 inches long. So what I did was I took the tape measure and I measured from the top of the rod to where I wanted the, the, uh, the uh, window treatment to hang, which was about 33 inches. So I laid the whole panel down on the floor. And what I did was I started to fold um, about that much. I guess, what is that, about five inches, something like that. Uh, I folded under and then over and then under and then over uh, until I got to the 33 inch mark. Then what I did was I took some ribbon and I went through the grommet, not, not over the, the uh, rod, but through the grommet and down to the bottom. And then what I did was I pushed up on it a little bit so we can get that little bit of a swag look in there. And I used floral wire. I wrapped that around there and made that nice and tight. And then I made the bow separate. Uh, I mean, these were, this is part of this. These hanging parts is part of this. And then what I did was I made this bow separate and then with the floral wire, I attached it onto there. So we have the, um, this, this kind of, uh, it's not a Roman shade, but kind of something like, uh, on that order. So um, again, and then what I'm gonna be doing in this video is I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna embellish around this part of the window. I'm gonna use garland and I'm gonna use white branches and a few other things. And then also, just let me move the camera a little bit so you can see. Um, this picture right here is kind of like an inspiration for the room. For those of you that don't know, Mrs. Claus, she's always in red, but that's because Santa wants her in red. And uh, she really doesn't like red that much. She, these are her favorite colors, like pink and mauve and purples and, and whites like that. So uh, this room is going to be Mrs. Claus's favorite colors, which are the, these colors, the pinks and stuff like that. So this is the inspiration because like I said, she really likes those and we want, and this is her, her spot. So uh, we're gonna be doing those kind of colors in here. So hold on, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be showing you how I'm gonna attach some lights up on top of those windows. Okay, so I use these command strips. Um, I can't imagine anybody that watches any of these videos don't know about these. Uh, these are the 3M 
This is the clear one. Sometimes they're white, whatever. This is um, 0.5 pounds because um, it's, I'm not holding up a lot of stuff up there. Uh, but as you can see right now, what I did was I used the command strips around the outside of the, the uh, circle top up there. And then what I did was I just hooked on those um, icicle lights because it'll provide um, a soft twinkle for uh, the windows. And then I'm going to, you know, put garland on top of that. But this is where I start. So command hooks. Um, actually, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's like eight of them there uh, holding up those lights. And I know it's blurry right now, but um, I think you get the idea. Okay, so the next thing is I'm going to add garland onto there. Okay, so the next thing I did was I put a piece of garland. That's one, um, that's about nine feet, I think, a uh, piece of garland. And to be perfectly honest with you, that's the uh, garland from Walmart. It's like $2.98, and it's perfect for this application. I mean, it's just fine because, um, I mean, you, you could double it if you want. Sometimes I do that, but I chose not to. I wanted it to be a little bit more delicate looking. So... Uh, you know, you just have to do some uh, manipulating of the uh, the little sprays here because it, I, I mean, you know, it's two ninety eight. It's not, it's not, it's not a great piece of garland. But for this, it functions absolutely fine because remember when somebody comes into the room, that's just like an accessory piece because uh, actually the tree is the star of the room and and the mantle obviously, and then, you know, this window thing is um, just, like I said, an accessory. Like, a lot of times, somebody will just come in and they'll say, oh, wow, you even did the window, but they don't, you know, go right up to it and start inspecting um, inspecting it because there's too many other things to look at. So, like I said, it just adds that little bit of highlight to the room, a little bit of magic with the sparkle, and so on. All right, so now I'm going to continue with the next layer on this, and I think I'm going to add some white branches in here next. So the next thing I'm going to use are these white branches. Now you can go in your yard and you can spray paint them white. That's fine too. But I have these already. I bought these in, um, in a floral shop a while ago. And I, I mean, I use them every year. And they're, I don't know, uh, at least here, I'm having more difficult time finding them lately. And when you do find them, like, like they want to sell you like that, you know, one at a time. So... Um, you know, like I said, you can buy, you can just cut some of them down and spray paint them if you'd like. I'm using these um, and I'm going to, going to put them up in there because I'm also going to use these again. I'm going to repeat this same idea when I do the mantle. Next, I t intertwined those white branches. You see how I did that around the... Okay, there you go, like that. Okay, let me, and I'm going to add some poinsettias in there. Okay, so next I'm going to use these uh, really, really uh, pretty poinsettia. They uh, have a very light touch of pink, and then they have this snowy edge on them. And what I'm planning to do is I'm probably going to be putting them, like, you know, here and here, and possibly a couple on the top. I'm going to see how that looks. And I'm not going to really bore you with it this time. Maybe I'll show you after I figure it out this time when I do the next window, then I can show you how I do it. So next, for a little bit of texture, I'm going to add in these ficus leaves that I just glittered so that they pick up some light and they'll give a little bit more dimension to that piece up there. Next are these icicles. All right, so I know you can't see it from here, but I'll, I'll take a close up in a minute. But I put in icicles in there and a couple of crystals. Now up on the top of the window, you know, at the base of that uh, arch, I'm going to put this piece of garland here, and uh, it has a, a lot of embellishment on it already. It's it's kind of it has a little bit of tinsel in it, so from far away it gives a little bit of a shine, and um, it has some pine cones. Now what I did was I used some of the pinks that I'm going to use in here. I used one that is textured, one that's matte, and one that's shiny, and I grouped the three of them together. And I'm going to use a uh, pink candle up there as well. Okay, so let me get that up there, and then you can... Okay, so I'll take a close-up. I did the 
three poinsettias here. I grouped them together in three. And then you see the ficus leaves and some of the, the icicles. And here's the piece I put up in the middle here and then uh, around the other end. Okay, so you know what? This elf is really, really tired. So he's going to take a break tonight and I'll finish the other window and finish up this video tomorrow. Okay, until tomorrow. Okay, so I'm on the other side now and I'm going to start by putting in the leaves first and I'm going to start up at the top and put that one that way and the next one the opposite way. Hold on, I need to cut this. Get that later. See, so they're back and forth like this. Let's cut this one too. Get that garbage later. And what you're going to do is you just work your way down each side so that you have you know, that coverage that you want, okay? And I'm gonna do that right down the sides and I'll show you that when it's done. I don't wanna bore you with that. Okay, so I got those leaves in. Next, I'm going to do two groups of threes with these pink and white uh, poinsettia. I'm gonna start this one down on the bottom and I'm gonna lock it in with the, um, the garland itself, okay? I'm gonna put one on this side. And then one more, like this, okay? Okay, so I made that group of three. Then I'm gonna start, uh, I'm dropping everything all over the place. Uh, then I'm gonna start using um, these smaller, these are like a light pink, and then I have these which are kind of like a white with some pink. And I just want to travel up the travel up the uh, stem of the plant. The garland, I mean. <laughs> Not the stem of the plant. So try to lock it in between the, you know, between the leaves and the garland and everything else. It'll give you a secure place to um, hold that kind of stuff. So let's see. Pink, white, and pink, and white, pink. Okay. Let me do another white one here. And then I'm going to do another pink one. Alternating, you know, I cut these from a Dollar Tree uh, little bush, you know, and then just push the leaves up so that they're closer to the flower too. Just makes them look a little bit better. Okay. And I'm gonna finish off this side with a white one, say pushing those leaves up. Yeah. And up here. Okay, so I'm mimicking the other side, but I'm not making it exact because it's just, that's not how it would be in nature if this was reality, but of course it's not reality. Okay, this one got a little squished. 
So just bend the stem a little bit and it comes forward. Okay, let me do the other side and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, so the next thing up are these icicles and try to hang them, I mean, if you wanna do this, uh, you know, to, towards the front and towards the back as well. Like you see, like this one, I'm gonna do here in the front and make sure that it's laying flat like that. And then, flat. And then I'm gonna do one in the back so that, um, you know, it, it looks layered. Excuse my butt. Okay, so can you see that? There's like, there's one here in the front and then I hung one in the back like that, okay? And then I'll come back in the front again so that it gives it some dimension, all right? I know, I'm just looking, it's hard to see because of the glare. So I'll, I'll bring you up for a close-up for that one. All right, here is a close-up. You see how I, I went in and out with the icicles so they don't, you know, they're not so flat. They're more dimensional. Let me take a view from the back. Okay, so there's the two windows done, and uh, this is the beginning of Mrs. Claus's Lady Parlor, like I said, and uh, the theme of that this room. And uh, next one will probably be the mantle. So I hope you enjoyed this little video, and uh, please subscribe. I would really uh, like it if you would do that and put on your notification bell so you don't miss any of my uh, Christmas um, videos coming up really soon. Okay, everybody, so hope everybody's doing well and uh, happy decorating for Christmas. Take care. See you soon.